Hello, hello everyone, welcome once again to the African Tech Gurus. Remember, this is a channel we are learning is by doing. It's me once again, and we are here to solve something. Someone has been asking me, or not, let me say someone, but let me say like uh, some of us has been asking uh, if I have an idea regarding this particular task here. Let's say, crack me, uh, that is find the password of this particular program. So someone has been uh, asking, how can we do this one? So I'm here, I've tried to research about the solution and here I'm here to guide you through and see how we're able to achieve uh, to get into what we're supposed to do. So now, let's first of all read uh, the, the question that we are supposed to find the password for this particular program. Yeah, we have this particular program. This program is a link that will link you to a repository. And then when you click this particular uh, link here, this one, it, it opens here. Now you can see, it will open this particular repository here. So this repository is open when you click that particular link. Now, next thing is save the password uh, in the file 101 password. So you will have to create another file called 101 password that will save that particular password from from the crack for that uh, crack me. And then you sh your file should contain the exact password, no new line, no extra space. All right, now let's check and have a look. Let's have a look and then when you are checking whether you, are, you did correctly, you will use this one eh? here. All right, now we are using repository, Kita ALX, low programming, and the directory is A, A, 0x114 bit manipulation, which is for this particular task, which I believe that you have done the previous task, the previous task. Eh? We had, what we are doing is just doing for this particular number seven or task number seven, which is crack me. So now let's get into it. What are we supposed to do? Let's open our Git bash. So in this case, I will be using my Git bash, but for your case, use web terminal because Git bash work differently from web terminal. I will show you why. Yes, let's get into it. So let me get into my uh, repository that is CD ALX uh, low programming, enter. So I am in this particular repository. So what next? I am supposed to get into this particular directory. So what I do, cd into 0, 1, 4, something like that. Yes, enter. So I am inside that particular directory, which we are supposed to do. Then from there now, we are not going to create directly this particular uh, file name. Instead, what we will do is that we will clone. You see this particular here being given here, this program? Yes. So when I click on this link, it will take me to this particular repository here. And then when I'm at this particular repository, what do I do? I click on code and then I have this particular link here. So this is what I need. I click on here. So that link is copied. Let me come now here and then I will say git, I'm sorry. I'll say git clone like that. And then I paste that particular link. I say paste. So and then I click enter. So it will take some time. All right, now we are here. We have already cloned this. Let me list file. You are noticing that we have 0x13.c file in a directory, I'm sorry. So inside that one, so what you do then, we cd into that particular directory so that we can check what is inside that directory. So let's get into it. Now we are inside that particular directory. Let's list file and check what is inside. So you notice that I have readme.md and I have crackme3. So what I need, my interest is not on the readme, my interest in the crackme3. Uh, so what I will do, I will have to move this one to the parent directory, which is bit manipulation here. And so the, because I will remove this one. Remember, uh, our, Git, our GitHub will reject the push of this one because we are cloning a repository inside another repository. So it will reject. So since we don't want it, uh, to reject so what we'll do we will move mv crack crack me three like that and then after I, I do that where do i want to move it into the parent directory which is dot dot slash meaning that i'm moving it to the parent directory then i click on enter so when i list file you will notice that inside this particular uh, a013 uh, dot c it, da it does not have anything any longer so it does not have the crack me. So what I'll do now, I will cd out, that is cd dot dot to go back to the parent directory here. So I am in the parent directory, pwd. 
you notice that I'm in the file that which is uh, bit manipulation. Let me now list file so you can check. So when I list file, you notice that I have this uh, directory and I have this file which I copied in, which I move it from the this particular directory. So now at this point, I no longer need this particular directory. So what will I do? I will remove. So rm dash r. Then the name of that directory is 013 like that. Then I click on enter. So in my case, it will ask me remove right protected uh, regular file. So in your case, since you're using the web terminal, it will not ask you this one. But for my case, it will ask me because I'm using the git bash. So that's why I'm saying that the git bash is not working the same way as web terminal. So in this case, I will just click Y and then I will click Y. So at that point, I have removed that particular directory. When I list file like this, you will notice that I no longer have the 0x13.c directory. So what I have now, what I'm remaining with is now the crack me file. So this is the file only I'm remaining with. So what next? Remember, we we're supposed to create a file called 101 password, which contain what? The password from that, uh, what we crack. So, now let's get into it. What next? Let me clear first of all my terminal and my uh, git bash. So I'm at this point. I want to create 101 file. How do I create? I will use a link which I will leave it on the description below. This is a link I have here. I will copy this particular link. Yeah, copy. And I will leave it here. I will paste it here like this. So after I paste it, what I'll do next, I'll click on enter. So you will notice there are some things happening here then let's take time and then after it has finished you will see a message like this that say clean up created 101 pa uh, password successfully so when we list file like this list file you will notice that now we have this one you notice we now have 101 password which is the file required for us here so at that point now what next we have already created that particular file so we will have to test this file now if it is already giving us congratulations so in my case in my case it will not give me why i'm using git bash uh, it is not working as well but in your case web terminal i've already tried on the web terminal and i've seen it working so i'll just paste it here i will see for my case it will add, it, will, it will tell me that that particular uh, file does not exist or directory then i click on enter you'll notice that say that cannot execute the binary file, this one. So there is git bash, it cannot execute, but for your case, it will have to execute. So for your case, instead of getting an error like this for or mine, you will get congratulations, yes. So from there now, what you're supposed to do is to git add, git commit, and then git push to your repository, and then from there now, you can now check your code. I believe this has been helpful, and I believe it will work on your end. Now, that is all I had for today. Bye-bye. See you next time.